Hello and welcome back to Sticks. I'm the social solipsist and uh, this might go terribly. So in some of the previous episodes I've discussed how freaking dark this game is. Um, and the problem, well, the problem is that the game itself does not have enough um, visual controls to really fix that. It doesn't even have a contrast slider, which is, it has a brightness slider, but not contrast. And I assume that's intentional, but um, yeah, yeah, give us the option. Anyway, um, I thought that I would try and be clever and fix that. Um, now, some of you may be familiar or at least have heard the name SweetFX. Um, that is an old uh, uh, pre-processing. It's technically, I guess it's pre-processing. It's an old pre-processing suite for um, DirectX, I think. I think it also supports Vulkan now. Well, it does... I should say, it doesn't support Vulkan now. Um, essentially what it is, it's, it's a, a, an application layer between the game and the rendering that modifies it before it finishes, before it, fi it de delivers the, uh, the frames, essentially. Um, SuiteFX no longer really exists. It's sort of been deprecated for about two years, and it only works on 32-bit processes. This is news to me. I've never really dealt with it before, but um, there is a sort of successor suite called Reshade, uh, which I have installed. The problem is I can't record with it on, or at least not in the usual way. Um, I'm currently doing, instead of doing game capture, I'm doing display capture because Reshade and OBS both use the same time of, type of... Um, uh, like DLL hooking to grab the image and interfere with it and they can't both run at once Anyway, that's a bunch of technical information you probably didn't need but I found kind of interesting because I spent hours doing it um, This is what the game looks like by default and again, this is on display capture So it's not exactly one for one versus what we were getting before, but it's pretty close um, however if I make some modifications to it, suddenly it looks a little bit different, <laughs> a little bit brighter, a little bit cleaner. Um, so I have somebody else's uh, rendering options that I've modified, and then I have another set I did my own completely from scratch. Once we get into the actual game, I have to change them on the fly if it like turns out that they're totally screwing up the image but um we'll see anyway so uh i think this is the render settings i'm going to use for the minute and we'll see how it is actually i should probably switch it once we get into game so you can see that as well just out of curiosity anyway without further ado let's get into the game okay so again this is if um one set on and that's with it off. So it's pretty substantial. Um, there are some side effects uh, that I noticed just in the initial stuff, but it, they're really minor, so I think I'll be okay with it. Um, one of them is, if you look at that box around the E, it's actually not square. Um, because it's using this... the processing to try and it's rendering the image after it's already been rendered essentially and so it's trying to smooth straight lines into curved ones and it's overdoing it um, anyway I don't know if anybody cares so I'll just stop talking uh, so we have to go see Ozcan generally what I want to do though is just hey Look who's here. Did you find what you were looking for, my friend? Brighten everything up a little bit, add a little bit of contrast, and um, smooth out the lack of or underwhelming anti-aliasing. So, I'm after Lord Barrowman's place. What? Did you spill some brains, or have you just got a death wish? You want to turn up at the big boss's place just like that? Well, I would have announced my visit with a hunting horn, but I left it in my other pants. Listen, friend, if you really want to go there, I might just know how to get you inside. 
I'll explain. If you just be so kind as to bring me back a small souvenir in exchange. Am I gonna get credit for that you book I got for you? The heart of the tree by any chance, because it would save me time. Ah, uh, no. If I knew that, I would already have sold it myself. <laughs> the heart of the tree. Well, just reach right in the tree and grab it, old son. <laughs> well then, okay. I'll see if I can find what you want. Okay. Spit it out. I know that Barryman has a secret room in his apartment, and I'd like to know what it's used for or what's inside. For someone like me, that kind of information is worth big money. Hey, finding secret rooms is what I do. Listen, every day Barryman gets a delivery of huge chests containing his clean clothes, food from his personal reserve, and documents that he has brought up from the library. All you have to do is to get inside one of the chests and be delivered to his home. What do I look um. like? Pastrami? Then again, I got nothing to lose. What is it you need me to get? I don't know. Anything that looks expensive. I've never set foot inside the governor's place, but there must be plenty. <sighs> okay, I'll see. Will that be all, my prince? No. Now the lag on There's this is guy. getting worse and worse. Oh, right. The foreman of the reinforcement. I wonder why. Works. A crook at heart, like you and me. Except that all of a sudden, the guy wants to Might go. Start to recover that yeah, vision. <laughs> you know the type. Anyway, I don't know what's bitten him, but he threatened to inform on some of my guys if I didn't leave him alone. I get the feeling that a friend of yours is going to have an accident. Yes, but more than that, I want to make an example of him. Something that says, when you do business with Ozcan, it's for life or death. Bring his body back to me, and I'll arrange a small show. Bring the body back? Yeah, transporting a corpse. This is gonna cost you, buddy. I hope it's worth it. Sitting up to your ass in water all day long. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Uh, no, I am gonna worry about that. You're just gonna make me drag a corpse around all day? Okay, well, um... Let's go, where is the... Right, okay, so it's the hideout where I go deal with my... Huh. Those textures are not rendering. That's unrelated to the, the thing I'm doing. Um, that's just a thing in the game. Fascinating though. Um, however, this seems like a good place to show off the difference in the rendering since we'll get to see the variety of changes. So it's just like, it's so muddy by default. Um, and it probably looks better or worse depending on the screen you're playing this back on. Uh, but yeah, just like, it desperately needs a, a helping hand. Sure is weird that he never sheaths his knife sword thing, isn't it? Or is that just me? Strikes me as odd. Uh, I mean, this place is really cool, but there's nothing to do here except for take a very long walk up to um whoops that's not the that's the wrong ability oh you actually get your your amber back from that huh okay let's take a look here um so we looked at these briefly before, but... Uh, recuperate half of the amber from... Oh, these have to be done in order. That's the little arrows. Hmm. Stay invisible indefinitely without consuming amber as long as you do not move. Uh, the, what was the one I was thinking about? It was the jumping one, right? 
Silent Landing, Mastery of Escape. What was the dodge? I don't even remember what the dodge was. I don't really want to... Hmm. This is just important. Not to make noise when I hit the ground is like... Non-negotiable. Collectible items. Twice as long. Area. I actually have I have a lot of skill points for only having done two levels. Uh, that seems handy. And a stock of acid is also handy. All of these are handy. Just carrying more stuff. Um, oh, there's the hanging kill. I knew, yeah. I don't even remember if I saw this before, but... Um, weird that I have to level it up, but... That's really badly described, I think, because I think what that means is you can kill people around corners. But that's not what that says. Um, these would all be handy. You know, I was trying not to kill a lot of people the last time, but um, frankly... I'm rethinking my stance on that. Uh, 115 points? Okay, let's see. Yes, give me the drop kill, and that's all I've got. Okay. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. And now I can pick up extra stuff. Okay. Do those... Okay, so I think it was just that the, it only provides that many. Three, two, and one. Um, I'd be a little concerned if I could only... If, it, if these didn't replenish after every mission. Um, okay. Alright, remind myself of the controls. Uh, did I screw up my mouse? I reset my... I think I did. I think I reset my DPI by accident. That feels a little better. Okay. See what we've got. So I didn't really understand what the mission was. I'm headed, I'm getting shipped in a box. Is that my mission to get in the box? First step, reach the docks where the governor's chests leave. I mean, I suppose I could have waited, but, like, also no. Really, you guys are just going to hang out here? It was nothing. Oh, these vision ranges. So random. What was that? Uh, something. Really? 
You didn't hear me walk up, but you heard me extinguish the torch. Hold on, what's down there? Am I just going to be able to toss this guy? That was easy. Goodbye. Okay, so I'm going up. It's interesting when I'm engaged like that, I can't do anything. Um, okay. Abilities. Wow, that is much more pronounced with the, uh... Hold on a second. I want to just compare that. Sorry, I'm probably going to do this a few times throughout the game. Um, if I keep this on. But... Uh, I guess it is just more severe, uh, more severe red in this uh, area. Oh, there's a handhold up there. Interesting. Okay. Uh, how do you get up there norm normally? Hmm. Weird that they don't see me with that light there, but... Whatever. Oh, there's stairs. Uh, I guess I wouldn't have seen them anyway because I didn't come that way. More sleeping guards. Sleeping? Not sleeping. Is your buddy going to turn around? This is a very inefficient patrol. store this guy in the chest here? I think I can. Not that it probably matters, but... Yep. And it doesn't even have the, uh... Hitman issue of limiting you to... Well, I assume. I shouldn't say that before I actually know. It doesn't appear as though you would have a limit of two bodies. mechanism see the thing is uh, and it's you know it's a mixed bag right you can't have it oh hello um can't really have it both ways but the idea that it's just like oh you got to go to the mechanism and there's no in-game reason why i would know i have to do that is um not great Okay. Relighting torches. Oh, here we go again. Here we go again with what? Nobody's going to see that, right? Hmm. 
There's a ledge up there. But why does that exist, actually? Where does it go? I assume to get you over to this area. You want to grab onto that? I guess not. I guess it's a one-way mechanism, or a one-way path only. <laughs> really should have extinguished both of those, but... Everybody wants a discount on Amber. Don't you know drug dealing is all about entrepreneurship? Nice of them to put a random wardrobe right next to the door. up there and at least one guy if not okay one guy patrolling I thought I saw another guy patrolling but maybe it was just yeah he's just going back to his post two guys patrolling Where to? You two idiots gonna bump into each other? No, not quite. Time's up. Breaks over. Oh, that's right. I could poison the water. Actually, that could be fun. I haven't done that yet. Uh, I have to do that with a clone, right? Someone there. No. A monster. Let's go. Okay. Uh, I forgot that the uh, clones are not invisible. So, wait. Why is there? An Where's the autosave? Fuck's sake, why does that even exist? Um. Breaks over, huh? Really not going very far for your break. Okay. Um, what? Man, what is it with the games I've been playing recently and having a save limit? <sighs> okay. Uh, well, between episodes... I'm going to find out where the saves live and back them up. And then deal with this shit again. God. Oh, of course, it scrolls infinitely, so I just lost my place as well. Ugh. All right. On the next episode, we'll deal with some poisoning, and also I'll fix the save issue. See you guys then.